situation. This is like the biggest breakout MTV has had in a long time. You guys are killing TMZ right now in L.A. As the breakout star of the show, how individually responsible do you think you are for the success of it? Oh, that's a brilliant question. Good question. Um, yeah, um, you know what? I'm just being myself, and uh, if the show is successful because of that, I'm happy. Um, and uh, I guess that's uh, that's all I got to say about that. I'm just being myself, having fun. I live life moment by moment. So at any particular time, you will get a situation. Do you feel like situation. you've gotten them? Like it seems like a lot of the attention has been on you as far as the guys are concerned, because you really do seem to be the one that just kind of uh, that just kind of goes out fearless to live life. Not that the other guys aren't, but you seem to be really the above and beyond guy who will do that. Uh, you know what? I've always been. Always been like that. Um, you know, you only live once. Um, definitely. Um, you know, I'm in my 20s, and, um, you know, uh, I just, like I said, don't want to have any regrets once I get older. And I'm sure if I do make any mistakes, um, I make them now so that I learn from them and uh, grow, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we could all learn from you, Mike. I don't even know the, the names of the other characters on the show. It's, it's all about the situation. I don't even know who Mike is. I know who the situation. Uh, well, is. we understand that. And you ever, you yeah. have, have you ever had any problems uh, how uh, Italians are portrayed on uh, TV uh, on any show? No, uh, not that I know of. I, I've never had any problem with anything. Uh, I mean, me personally, I don't point the finger at anything. Uh, if I don't like something on TV. Uh, I'll probably change the channel, and uh, I yeah. wouldn't even say anything to anybody. That's got to be but, because I mean, of your confidence, Mike. It's like all, you don't care what people are yeah, saying about yeah. you. Oh, Screw I, it. I, I, really, I really don't you know, care too much. At the end of the day, I have my family, I have my friends. Looks like I got a lot of fans out there. So uh, when I wake up in the morning, I look in the mirror and I smile, and, and you know, I just realize that, hey, today's going to be a good day. Is there, is there a workout tape in your future, the situation? Maybe like a you know little what, uh, crunch yeah, tape or something? <laughs> There might be a workout tape. Uh, you know, P I, recently I had some uh, sponsors try to sell some ad space on my stomach. I mean, it's getting pretty wild out there. I've had the same and, thing, but uh, for different reasons. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they wanted to, you know, people trying to put things on my stomach. And uh, I, I'm hearing, like, uh, rap songs. I mean, things are just coming out of the woodwork. Damn, you yo. believe it. it gets crazier and crazier every day. And, and don't get me wrong, I love it. It's just that... Uh, I didn't really expect it to blow up in seven days like this. Yeah, how how tall is uh, Snooky, for real? Snooks, Snooks is like she might even be like four nine, I think. Yeah, she's yeah. not five foot fidget. tall. And uh, the last episode, you were making out with Snooky a little bit. <laughs> well, you know what, me and Snooks, um, she has we have very very similar outlooks on having fun and just living life up and. Uh, you know, I know she kind of lives life moment to moment. She's trying to have fun, and uh, I kind of kind of live the same way. So, uh, you know, one moment crossed, she's standing, uh, the in, next uh, she's on the, the floor. House, uh, a couple days in. Yeah, I hear you. How jealous when Ronnie, like when the whole drama was going on between Ronnie and you and Sammy. How jealous was Sammy. Ronnie? Sammy, Sammy, sweet, Sammy, sweetheart. Yeah, Sammy, sweetheart. What's how uh, Sam? how jealous was Ronnie getting that he didn't have the gift of gab like you do? Because he's like a big beefy guy, but he can't, he can't, he doesn't have the game that the situation does, the way he talks. Oh, uh, no, I, I, you know what, I, I didn't even expect, you know, exactly what happened with the whole Ronnie and Sammy situation right there. Because, I mean, you could just tell when somebody can talk and somebody can't. Right. And, or somebody's got it and they don't. Yeah, and the situation I didn't think talk. that he had it in any way. Yeah. And, uh, you know, even though that I was a little wild in the first couple episodes and jacuzzis or whatever and clubs and stuff like that, uh, me and Sam, we we were vibing, but at the same time, that doesn't give me the permission to uh, just be blatantly, well, you know, cra you know, blatantly crazy. So that kind of changed her mind maybe to mm. get back at me. She had, you know, went to Ronnie's arms. So it's almost like I handed, uh, you know, Sam to Ronnie on a, on it, a silver plate. Yeah, it just shows you how clueless, uh, you know, sweetheart uh, Sammy there is because, you know, she should have went for the situation over Ronnie. We all know that. Everyone yeah. saw that one. She probably, yeah. she, she probably would have had a way better time, uh, you know, the first uh, day or two. Holla. Yeah. Holla on that, that one. Yo. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Yeah. All right. You're going to be on Jay Leno tonight. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, I, like I said, I um, was actually getting a little sleep, and then uh, I, I heard about the opening anti thing, and I was like, yeah, I definitely got to wake up for that. And then uh, we got uh, uh, Leno and... Access Hollywood and uh, you name it, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. How, nice. how many guys are doing Leno? 
I believe just um, like uh, me, Snooks, maybe, and, and Paulie possibly. All oh, right. Cool. Hey, when uh, Leno asked to see your abs, could you maybe have Opie and Anthony on your abs when you show it to the <laughs> national audience? Yeah, you know, yeah, that's, that's exactly what a, a couple of people had approached me about. That's exactly what a couple of people, and, uh, you know, <laughs> it's pretty wild, but uh, I, I don't think he's going to ask to see my abs, even though almost everybody mm. does. No, Leno uh, loves a fucking uh, well-built uh, gentleman. <laughs> yes, and Leno loves abs. <laughs> He sure he's does. He's all about abs. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I seen Tyson over the weekend at the Spike Awards, and it was pretty cool. I've been just having a blast. Whoa, what happened with you and Tyson? Anything? Oh, Tyson's the man. I love Tyson. He pulled me aside, and he just uh, gave me some words of wisdom from Tyson. And, oh, that's uh, good. I can't really say too much of that stuff right now, but uh, I love Mike Tyson. Did he yeah. punch Snooki? That would have been something. <laughs> <laughs> she could take a punch, uh, that girl. Yeah, let's see if she can take a real punch. Right. <laughs> that big meat fist. Yeah. My, yeah, Mike was definitely a cool guy. All the right. situation in Pauly D had a very good quote as far as philosophy goes on TMZ, because there were a bunch of people in L.A. heckling them on the street, Yeah, and they pretty much summed it up when they said they hate because they ain't. Oh, is that ah, what I mean? They I hate because like they ain't. You know something? That could be That's a T-shirt. True. You know, it's uh, you really can't imitate the East Coast uh, attitude, or I guess if you'd say swag. So uh, when we go out, man, um, you know people were flipping out and chasing us and taking pictures, and, and and like I said, we were so nice to everybody. But then again, you you can't please everybody, and you will get that uh, that that right. hater. Or something. All right, we get it. You're great. You're like the swarthy Jesus. Beatles, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, you just got to let them know, man. If you don't like me, just tell your girl to T-bone me real quick. That's oh, all. Oh, damn. shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, Mike. The situation, you're great. We all know it. Good luck Have tonight, fun man. Have out tonight, all right, bro? Cool, man. Thank you so much, guys. Love you guys. All right, all right. Take care, bro. There goes uh, the situation. <laughs> Fucking Blue Heeler from Kentucky. Is this interview guy. is embarrassing. Don't you get what we're doing there, you Sam asshole? Sam is such an asshole. Why? Why? You know... When when you said, <laughs> they, it's what? true though. They hate because they ain't. That's Shut why they hate. Up. Sam is just such a fucking encouraging ass. <laughs> just trying to get him to say shit. I encourage the people I love. You know what I'm that saying? That's fucking funny. I gotta pee. Oh yeah, yeah that gotta, was cool. That was a nice exclusive. We we had to go around publicists to get that done. We said yeah, fuck yeah. the publicist. We'll just call the guy personally. And, and that's said, how it works. And he said fuck yeah, I'll go on your show. So when we, very when we, cool. When we yeah, he was cool man. Go around uh, management. It works well. Absolutely. We'll be back. Stay there. <laughs>